In today's video, we're going to attempt to complete the KO Perico heist by using the Vellum, but without taking out the air support. Now, if you saw yesterday's video, you'll know what this video is all about. Because uh, yesterday we did a video, it was like my five myth-busting KO Perico myths. Or myth-busting five KO Perico myths. I don't know. But if you saw yesterday's video, go... <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, I'll leave a link to the end of this video and in the description so you can be up to date and you don't feel left out. So anyway, let's jump into this. As you can see, our heist is ready to go and I'm ready to go. I'm actually really excited for this. I don't know what's going to happen yet in this video because yesterday's video was recorded after today's because I needed today's in order to record yesterday's. So yeah anyway i'll explain more here in a little bit but what we have got our setup here our approach vehicle is the vellum obviously because we're going to be trying to do this without taking out the s tower uh equipment we've done weapon loadout i just got the aggressor and we've done two disruption missions again if you saw yesterday's video you'll know why uh so let's just go ahead and start it up and i'll explain it a little bit more okay so for our approach vehicle is the vellum that's what this video is all about we're going to try and escape the ko perico heist after we've got, obviously, the primary and secondary loot, we're going to try escaping without using taking out the air defenses. <laughs> and it's it's not clickbait, I promise, but it's probably not what you think. So anyway, let's continue. Airstrip is obviously where we're coming in. Entry is going to say drainage. I don't know yet. I haven't decided where we're coming in. Uh, probably the drainage, to be honest. Escape point is going to be the airstrip, obviously. And then time of day is going to be daytime so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to make sure I have suppressors on uh, just because I want to make this easier. Well, as easy as possible. So what the plan is here today, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're landing at the airstrip. My first thing we're going to do is try and find an outfit. Once we've got an outfit, we're going to head on over to the north dock. We're going to get secondary loot from the north dock using the... Uh, the one that you technically need two people to get into, but we're going to be doing it with one person. Then we're going to head on over to the main dock and try and get in that one, which I think we already know you can't get into, but I'm going to be doing it anyway. And then we're going to be heading into the compound, grabbing our primary loot, making our way all the way back up to the airstrip so that we can escape with a vellum without taking out the air support. So let's jump into it. One thing I forgot to mention is we do need the weapon stash as well. Because obviously we're coming in with the Vellum. Don't want to be triggering that alarm right away. So weapon stash is the other thing I forgot to mention. All right. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Something I should mention is as far as disguises are concerned, I don't know where they are. We're going to have to look for them. Um, I do know there's not one right off the airstrip because obviously when I was doing the setup mission here, um, I just glanced over there and there wasn't one there. So hopefully there's one on the second level right here. But if there's not, we'll have to move somewhere else to get them. So it's fine. It's fine. This video is all about the air support though or taking out the control tower right there or not taking out the control tower, I should say. Okay, so let's wait for this car to pass. Like I say, there is no weapon stash right here, but there could be one upstairs. I don't have a gun yet, so actually let's go and grab our guns here first. Probably should have thought of that just seconds ago. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's all about not taking out this air support, which is more so going to be obviously towards the end here. But we're still going to have fun. We're still going to be trying to get secondary loot from places we shouldn't be allowed to get them. Um, and we're still going to be obviously trying to make sure we don't you No, know i can take out this guy let's put our gun away i need to see and i need to take out actually this camera because it is going to come and look towards me here in a second all right there we go bloody laughing all right now let's see please be a disguise up here there is perfect that guy's just taking a nap that's all that's happening there He's just taking a little nap, stretching out his legs, I think, is what's happening. Yeah, just having a little stretch. Okay, so now what I need to do is grab a vehicle, preferably a motorcycle. I don't think there's any around here, so let's go grab the one that's up over here. And then we're going to head to the north dock. We're going to grab some secondary loot. Hopefully, they got some decent loot. I have no idea. We're going to grab some secondary loot from that place where you supposedly need two people, but we already know that you don't need that from yesterday's video. And from a video I did not too long ago. We already know this. All right. So let's go ahead and head on over to the North Dock. This, by the way, if you're new to the game or new to the channel, the disguise is so OP. I can't believe there's still people 
I get people all the time watching my videos that say, you know, I never realized how amazing the disguise is. Like, there's still people that don't know about the disguise. They're still struggling along. Okay, so we're coming in here. So this is the place where you get secondary loot, right? And supposedly you need two people. We're going to wait for this guy just to move on out of our way. Because I don't want to trigger the alarm. But in order for me to get in here, he may hear us, right? When we start using the cutting torch to open. Actually, we're not even using the cutting torch. You know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. What we're going to do is we're going to take out this guy as soon as he turns. Okay, he's walking. So we're going to wait for him to go back around here, back around the corner. Just get out of the way here a little bit. That looks good. Okay, put our gun away. I just don't want the sniper up there seeing him. And I think where we just took him out over there should be good. All right. And if it does see him, we're screwed. Okay, so we've pressed that. Hmm. You notice how this time it didn't work? That's weird. I've done this so many times. And this time... It's not working. I wonder if anyone knows why. Because I've done I've done it so many times. What have I done differently? What have I done differently? I took out this guy when I usually don't. But that is strange. I would love to know. So this is good for the Mythbuster video. So actually, if you saw yesterday's video, You'll know. I'm not sure why that that's not staying fully open. I am actually blown away right now. Let's freeze this here for a second. Taco from the future here. So it would seem, because there has been since I posted yesterday's video, people have mentioned that they have done it. They have done it since. They have done it yesterday. They have done it today. It still does work. There's two ways that you can do this from what I've got feedback from from you guys in the community. The first way, which I haven't tested is that you have to shoot that box. When you pull the trigger, when you pull the lever down, before you do it, shoot it, and supposedly that works. Now, I haven't tested that. You guys can let me know in the comments if that works. But one of the ways that seems like the, the tried and tested way, and the way that I actually did it last time when it worked for me, is you need to come in from the North Dock. If you come in from the North Dock, supposedly it works. If you set that as your like spawn point or your area of entry to the island as the North Dock, it should work. I'll test it out probably later this week or next week, but just FYI, if you're trying to do this yourself, it should still work if you come in from the North Dock, or maybe you can test it if you shoot the box first. All right, let's continue with the video. All right, let's continue on. That is strange. That usually, I've done it a few times now, stays open. I don't know if it's got something to do with my disguise, maybe, or if it's got something to do with the fact that I took that guy out, but I have definitely gone through there multiple times, and now I need to figure out why that that didn't stay open. I'm actually very, very wonder either they've patched it, because, you know, since the last patch, they may have patched it, or there's something that I did that was different. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any idea as to why that didn't work. When we've done it before multiple times, and I'm sure you guys have done it multiple times as well. But this one is the next one that we're going to be taking a little look at here. And I already know, I've tried this one so many times before. We're actually going to take out this guy. Uh, I've tried this one multiple times before, and this one has never worked for me. This one has never worked. Yeah, see, that one, it kind of it kind of made a little movement there, but it, yeah, this one never works. Okay, so that one I'm not surprised at, but the first one I'm actually really, really surprised at. So let's actually see, since we're not getting secondary loot from either of those, there's some cash in there. Let's see what secondary loot we have in this one over here. What do we have? Let's get off our motorcycle and just run past this guy. We'll take him out if we need to, but let's just see what they have. Okay, grass and cash by the looks of it. Not interested. Not interested. We'll we'll probably loot at the airstrip maybe at the end. Um, since we weren't getting loot from those two. But I'm actually... This is something new for me because I think it's been patched. I mean, obviously. Either it's been patched or... Either it's been patched or... They, there's Maybe the disguise has something to do with it. But I'm pretty sure in the last video I did, I had a disguise too. 
Yeah, I'm very, very interested right now as to why that is. But anyway, I'm glad I did this. That way, when we do our, you know, spin the wheel, not spin the wheel, when I, the video you saw yesterday, I can tell people that, guess what? It didn't work. All right, hopefully these guys have, maybe this guy has the key. So I'm just trying to get into the compound now, you know what I mean? All right, let's put this gun away. Because the other guy is looking at him, so I can't let the other guy see him die, right? We don't want him, his dead body to be in that cone of vision. Looks like we've just got him out of it. All right, and he's dropped the key card. Perfect. Let's grab this, then take out the last guy over here. I'm sorry, you just, you're just in the way of my incredible plan that I have going on here. Which really isn't going to plan. I was honestly trying to get into that building to grab that loot out of there at the north dock, which I have done. I know I keep repeating it, but I have done it multiple times. I have videos of it on the channel. Um, so that's an interesting one. That's good to know. Good to know. I'm going to have to try it again, obviously. See if it's been patched or maybe I did something different. I don't know. I don't know. All right, but now that we're in here, we're just going to run straight on over because we need to get our primary loot, which is the necklace, which I'm happy for. Once we've got the necklace, we'll head on over to the airstrip, which is the main point in this video, to be fair, is to see if we can escape with the Velum without triggering uh, or without taking out the air support. But if you saw yesterday's video, you already know what it is. If you're waiting, like, how are you going to do this? You'll find out, okay? You're just going to have to sit around and find out. All right, we're not going to take anyone out because I don't want to risk triggering the alarm, getting that infinite cone of vision. So we're just going to be a little stealthy here. Obviously, with the disguise, the only people that can see you are people with red cones. So you don't want to uh, you don't want to walk in front of anyone with a red cone. The blue cones, you're fine. The white cones, you're fine. But the red cones, not going to work. All right, let's grab some cash out of here. What do we got? Let's see. 63. Not great, but I'll take it. Is there any paintings in here? No, there's not. I wonder what loot there is. I could glitch into one of these walls or one of the rooms to get some gold or something. You know what? We'll just loot at the airstrip. We'll loot at the airstrip. I'm fine with that. All right, let's speed this part up. All right, and we're through. Let's go grab our little ruby necklace here. Looking beautiful. I've had some pretty decent luck recently. I think the last three or four videos, I had two bearer bonds, a diamond, pink diamond, and now this. We haven't gotten the uh, the stinky tequila in a while. I'm feeling uh, very lucky. Everyone probably hates my luck, man. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Just got a little bit, uh, a little bit lucky. I'm still blown away. I'm still like curious as to how that didn't work. It must have been patched. It has to have been patched. I don't know if you guys saw Sunday's video, but on Sunday, we did the viewer voted. And my God, the end of that thing, man. I almost lost my mind. I was so angry. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not going to talk about it. If you've seen it, you know what it is. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But Sunday's video, I can't believe it. It was like you couldn't... Like the look of what happened. The chances has got to be so slim. All right, come on, quick. You know what? Oh, no. My God, it's just about to turn. You need to go quickly, though, so I can run past you, please, before the jug gets here. The jug is literally about to turn that corner. I need to get down here before he does. Okay. The jug has turned the corner. So I'm going to wait here until the jug turns this little down the stairs, too, because I don't want him to see me jump up over this wall. There we go. I don't know if he would, but I'm not going to risk it. All right. Up and out we go. This way would be nice. Bloody camera angles in this game, man. Drives me mental. All right. Now all we need to do is the main part, which is drive all the way to the airstrip. Get secondary loot from there, because obviously we don't have any secondary loot, because the bloody going into the North Dock thing didn't work. <laughs> so we still need to get secondary loot while the helicopter's looking for us. We do have disruption missions on, though. Well, the helicopter one and the guns one. So, uh, we don't need to worry about them. Let's actually, instead of grabbing the motorcycle, we'll grab the truck, which is right here, the Jeep. Or do we take the motorcycle? You know what? We'll take the motorcycle. We'll take the motorcycle. It's, it's just a little bit faster. It's a little bit faster. All right, let's go. Okay, we'll actually go this direction. I think this way is faster than going towards the north or the main dock. 
As long as the helicopter... You know what? The helicopter, it's either going to go to the mid-map where I am right now, or it's going to go to the main dock. So as long as we can get down to the airstrip before the helicopter comes towards there, we'll be good. We'll be good. You know what? We'll go straight. I don't usually go straight, and now that I'm going straight, I realize that this I don't think is the fastest way, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I should have turned left instead of going down this way, but it's fine. I'm pretty sure that's just going to shave off. It's going to be seconds, the difference. But as long as the helicopter doesn't see us, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. So this, by the way, what we're about to do, trying to escape with the Vellum without taking out the air defenses, I've never done it before. So I don't know what's going to happen. This, this may go terribly wrong, or it could be something funny that we all learn something from. Either way, I don't think you guys are probably going to want to do this. Because there's much better, easier, faster ways to escape this island than doing what I'm about to do. Whether it works or not, this is not something that I recommend. <laughs> as you're going to see in a second. But first, we need to get our secondary loot. So what we're going to do is go into the big hangar and hope that we can fill up from the big hangar. This is not the plane that we're going to be taking, as you're going to see why here soon. Alright, now let's hopefully sneak past him. And then we need to hopefully... What have you got for me? I mean, that is pretty awful. What's upstairs? Can we see? I think upstairs may be better. Let's have a little look upstairs. I think even if El Rub Rubio comes with his little uh, plane, I think he can see through this building. Uh, you know how there's little windows in the roof? Oops. I think he can still see us. So I'm hoping he doesn't come over here because I think that will trigger the alarm. And I would rather... Be trying to escape in the vellum. Is it actually a vellum? I don't even know. It may not even be called the vellum. I mean, you guys will see here in a minute. All right, so we know we have cash down here. Let's, watch, let's see what we got up here. Like I say, I haven't looked yet. Oh, yeah, this is much better. It's Coca-Cola, right? Coca-Cola and grass? I'll take it. I'll take that any day of the week over cash. That is for sure. All right, let's grab this. I don't even know if this will... Will this fill up our bag? I don't think so. It'll be like two-thirds, right? Or four-fifths. I don't know. We'll see here together. Come on. Quickly, please. All right. Now, I don't think this gives half. I could be wrong. Maybe it's the cash I'm thinking of. I know. I know. I should know this. I've done this a gazillion times. I just don't ever pay attention to this typically. As you'll know by... Was it Sunday's video or Saturday's video? I think it was Saturday's video. That I completely, utterly messed up on. But it's fine. We move on. All right. Now, ouch. Actually, that didn't even hurt. I took a little bit of armor off. Not too much, though. All right. Let's grab a little bit. Oh, need to do this. What is that? Is that... Oh, no. I thought that was grass over there. It's not. It's cash. I could have gone... There's another room, obviously, at the Cape Prequel on the other side of the airstrip. I could have gone to here, but it's fine. This video, like I say, it's more about us trying to do this without taking out the air support than it is uh, getting any... Elite challenge. We could actually get the elite challenge, to be honest. You guys know I'm always trying so hard to get the elite challenge. How funny would it be if I actually finally get it and it's on this bloody video, man? All right, there's our Rubio. So let's try and avoid his little helicopter here. So we're going to skip that Vellum because that, I know for a fact, we will not be able to escape with, with a control tower. But this one, we could actually... No, wait. Hold on a second. Let me think here for a minute. You know what? I think because... Because if you guys remember, usually when I come to this one right here, it's a water boat. I'm going to attempt it. But usually with this one right here, it's a water boat. And not this type of warning ad they've changed it it never used to say that it never used to say that it's usually a water boat i wonder if we're gonna get shot down even if with this uh oh hold on hold on don't go in the water Okay, well, we've destroyed this boat. This plane. <laughs> we've... Oh, let me speed this up here a little bit.
All right, so they've definitely updated the heist, by the way, because that big... I don't, I don't think that big red warning's always been there. I really don't, but, you know, we're going to try this anyway. So this isn't what I planned this video to be. Um, I wanted this to be the water boat. So what we're going to do after this is if this doesn't work... Because obviously I could easily escape, right? We all know that I could easily escape right now. Um, just take out the air defenses. It'll be fine. Let's see if we can stay low. Let's see if we can stay really low. No. Okay. So you can't escape this way. It's the other one that I need, though. It's the other boat. So even though we've got this far, I think I'm not even going to finish it. What we'll do is we'll skip ahead right now. I'll get myself straight back to this exact same spot. Because what I'm thinking is because we chose the vellum, that's why there was two vellums. So what if I chose like a Kasatka? Would that give me the outlook I'm looking for? Let's try it. Don't worry, we'll skip ahead right to this moment. I'm not going to put you guys through an entire heist again. So let's jump ahead. All right, Future Taco here again, explaining to you what's going on here. So since the, we, ha we had the wrong vehicle, right? We had the Vellum instead of the little water dodo that I call it. Um, so what I did is I restarted the heist and I got the, the Kasaka. So I had to swim, go through the whole heist, grab our primary loot again. And then I had to steal a motorcycle. I did this all stealthily so we didn't trigger any alarms. And then I stole a boat from the north dock. No, it wasn't. It was the main dock. We got a boat from the main dock. And then we drove on over to the airstrip so we can get back to where we were. So this is where we are picking up right now. All right, so here we are for the second time. I've literally gone and got the same... Well, I've done the entire heist again. This time I came in with the Kasaka. I did kill someone to get that boat. So the alarm's probably going to go off here soon. Oh, it is the boat. It is the plane I wanted. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. This is a good thing. This is a good thing. So now I need to go and get the loot. And this is the boat we were looking for. This is the one that we're trying to myth bust. This is the exact plane we need. Because we're going to be driving off with this plane. But now I need to take out some guards because I don't have a disguise. Because I came in from the Kasaka instead of the Vellum. Which is what I was kind of thinking. I was like, maybe if I go with the Kasaka instead, it won't be the same. So that's what we're going to attempt here today. That's what we're going to attempt. Okay. So first things, first things first, we're going to have to take out this guy. We're going to have to get our secondary loot. The plane is going to come over here. So the alarm will trigger here eventually. Um, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? So we're going to go back upstairs here because they had better loot, remember, from just a moment ago. But at least we're going to be able to complete this and myth bust it. So I don't know if it was because I chose the Kasatka. That I was that that's the reason I got that type of the water vellum or the water plane. Or if it's just random every single time. Because when you first spawn into the map, on your approach, they don't actually show the uh what planes are here. They only show you the planes once you've gone through the main compound and you're escaping. Because they don't spawn right away. So I don't know if it's just random. Um, or if it's got something to do with the fact that I changed to a Kasaka. Either way, we've got the one we were looking for. So we're going to be able to put it to the test. I've just killed someone outside here, though. So he is, Mr. Rubio, going to trigger the alarm soon. But I'm not too worried. Like I say, we have disruption missions on. So even if he does see that body here in a second, um, they're not going to be able to... There's no helicopters going to chase us. There's also not going to be any, um, any people with decent weapons because we did the weapon disruption mission. So people are only going to really have pistols. So either way, I'm not too worried. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling now. Now we can relax. Whether we get to do this or not, we are going to be able to bust this myth, which you saw, like I say, in yesterday's video. Uh, that's what this was all for. But um, I don't know at this point how this is going to end. But you guys, if you saw yesterday's video, you guys already know how this thing's going to end. Okay, so now, oh no, I still need a little bit more loot because why the bloody hell not? I don't know. We should get the elite challenge, to be fair. We did do this pretty fast, if this works. If it doesn't work, we're going to have to take out the air support. And uh, it's going to be a disaster because then that means what I'm planning here didn't work. But essentially, as you guys saw, when I took off with the Vellum, we blew up. Even though we were low to the ground, we blew up. The whole point in this, this actually came from someone in the community. that was like, what would happen if you... You know, let's grab this vehicle. What would happen if you... Yo, oh no, there's a truck coming. There's a bloody truck coming. It's seen me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't care. 
Try and shoot me. We can still get the elite challenge. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I came out there at the wrong bloody time. Talk about awful timing. It doesn't matter though. You know what? Let's go for this guy. All right. So we're going to get in this and we're going to treat it just like we would a bloody boat. Let's just take these guys out because they're annoying. Excuse me, sir. You see how they all have awful weapons though? Yeah. And there's no helicopters chasing us. Yeah. That's because we did the disruption mission. All right. So we're going to use it. It says air defenses are active, but it doesn't matter because this is what this is all about. <laughs> Can we escape with this? Even with air defenses, because we're going to use it as a boat. We're going to use it as a boat. All right, and we're in. Can we still do it? Technically, we are in a boat right now. No, you can't. <laughs> Good to know. Kind of stupid, though, if you ask me. Kind of bloody stupid. So what we're going to have to do now, now that we've busted that myth, we're going to have to figure out a way to get out of here, which the only way really is going to be to either... I did bring a boat here, right? I don't know if that boat is still knocking about though. I'm assuming that that boat that I brought here has vanished. If it's still here, that would be fantastic. Do we see the boat that I came in on? Is that a boat? What the hell is that over there? And how the hell did I get this? What is that? That's not... It's, I'm pretty sure that's a rock, right? All right. I think, yeah, our boat has definitely uh, has definitely vanished. So since that one's now a goner, let's go ahead and grab this. We could swim. We could swim away. That would work. Or we could take out the air defenses. Okay, he's just taking out my bloody wheel. Can I pick this up? No, I need to get out of the vehicle, really. Can you just go away? I'm in the middle of something here. Who are you? You bugger off too, will ya? We didn't take out... The, we didn't do the armor disruption, though. So these guys still have pretty decent armor on them. Bloody every... Yeah! Do we take out the... Do we take out the air tower? Or do we... Steal a boat? Or do we just try and swim? I think the air tower is probably going to be the easiest from this point. I don't even know. Are we going to get the elite challenge? Who the bloody hell knows? Let's eat some snacks. So I'm glad... Miguel, what are you doing? <laughs> Bugger off! This guy always knows how to message you when you're in the middle of something, man. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's time and a place, Miguel. Time and a bloody place. All right, let me get through this real quick. All right, and just like that, done. You guys know I'm absolutely awful at that thing, but we did it! All right, so good to know. You can't use the Vellum as a boat. You know, in all honesty, the person who, who told me to do it that way um, or said, is it even possible? It wasn't. It's not a bad question. It's not a bad question. Bugger off. It's not a bad question. Where are you? Get down. Stay down. It's not an awful question, to be honest with you, because theoretically, we were using it as a boat. So the air defenses shouldn't have worked. You know what I mean? They should not have worked. Are we still going to get the Elite Challenge? In all honesty, as long as we don't get 1507. 1507 is a cursed number. If you know, you know. But as long as we don't get 1507. I don't know if we're going to get the Elite Challenge just because this did take a while. Having to bloody bugger off all over the place. All right, we're going to go this way. But yeah, it wasn't a bad question. Can you do it? If you use it as a boat, the answer is no. But... Should we have been able to do it? I think so. I honestly think so. All right. Well, we're out of there. We got our secondary loot at least. We know we've learned something new here today. Or you guys probably learned it yesterday watching the other video. But uh, we've learned something new. And I am... Uh, there's a couple things. First of all, we... They, they patched the bloody thing, haven't they? They patched it so you can't go in that that one solo anymore the north dock where you used to be able to go in this solo it looks like that's been patched and we've also learned that you can't use uh, a water vellum as a boat because <laughs> they will still blow you up even if you're not in the air they will still blow you up good to know good to know let's just see though just for you know just for the sake of it did we get the elite challenge i'd love the elite challenge if i'm being honest with you i mean we did all of that without a disguise as well even though you didn't see the most of it because I came through with the uh, 
the Kasaka. I still show you a little bit sped up. But yeah, 1557. Okay, we missed it by a minute. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised to be completely honest with you. At least it was 1557 and not 1507. You know what I mean? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that little video of me trying to try things out for the first time in this KO Perico. It's not very often I get to try things for the first time in KO Perico. Uh, I play this game so much. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you as always tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.